In this video, we're going to look at printing checks and registering a payment as a check and printing those directly from Odoo. So let's go ahead and go into our accounting. What we're going to do first is make sure that we have all of our settings configured for our checks. So inside of configuration settings in accounting, we'll scroll down and look for our check settings. That's going to be under vendor payments and we have checks enabled. We have our check layout set as print check top, but there's print check top, middle and bottom. And what these refer to are reports that are already created in the system that we'll be able to utilize to print depending on your check layout and your check paper. So you'll be able to print these from the system right on check paper and send them off to um, your vendor. Now keep in mind that these are predetermined templates. While they can be adjusted, it's highly recommended to just buy different paper to fit one of these layouts. It's much easier to do that than it is to adjust these layouts without the technical expertise. I'll show you where these exist, but again, I highly recommend buying the paper instead of trying to edit these to fit your existing paper. We have additional settings here. Most importantly, our margin on the top um, and left of the check. So here it just defaults to a quarter inch. Now from there under our journals, so I'll go into my dashboard and I'll just go into my bank journal here and go into configurations. And for outgoing payments, I have checks enabled here. So we'll be able to utilize checks as a payment method. And now the next thing I need to do is simply go into a vendor bill and register a payment. Before that, I do that, I'm gonna to go to our studio icon at the top of our screen, go to reports, and I'm gonna remove our model and just search check. And we'll see that we have our print check bottom, middle and top. And if we click into one of these, we'll see some default layouts that again can technically be adjusted, but we highly recommend you do that um, by just purchasing the proper paper that fits this because it does require some, um, some expertise with editing XML. So again, avoid this, but I did want to show you where it exists. So I'm going to close that out now and I'm going to go to my vendor bills. And I'm going to select this vendor bill for $450 here. I'm simply going to register a payment and I'm going to select the payment method as checks and I'm going to create a payment. Now this is marked as in payment and it adds a check to our queue to print. And that's going to be available on our dashboard where we see that we're going to have a one check to print for our bank account here. So one check to print, but that's also going to be available in our vendor payments. This new payment that we just created for $450, because it's a check, if I select it, I can go to action, um, print checks, or I can use my filter at the top of my screen and look for uh, checks to print, which is going to default to my 450. Or if I selected that on my dashboard from my bank account, one check to print, I can go ahead and select all, all of my items, go to print, or rather go to action and go to print checks. The same thing we looked at before or I can click into the payment itself and click on print check. So this is the check number. I can override it if necessary, but this is going to keep get, uh, this is going to be tracked in the system and I can click on print here. And I haven't uh, configured my default layout. So this is why this is popping up. If you already configured your default layout, uh, the first time you're printing something, this will pop up. Otherwise you will be able to directly print that. And that will generate a PDF file that I can download to my system and we'll see it here on the right here. So I won't show you the downloaded version, but this is the exact thing that you'll get. I don't have much details in for my vendor one, but this is essentially the check that you can print right on check paper and cut that check to your vendor. And now because I printed it, if I go to my dashboard, it's no longer there on my bank account, but if I needed to reprint it, I can go to my payments once again, go into this check, and I can either void the check, on mark sent, go to my actions, um, print out a, a, a payment receipt. If I need to void the check, I can just click void or on mark as sent, print this check again if I need to and overwrite this to one because that was the first one that we printed. Print that, but it'll also be available right here to download and print again. So whatever the case is, you can definitely get that again if you need to. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that you can register payment, print those checks. And again, depending on your check layout, you're gonna set that in your configurations. And we highly recommend that you purchase the printing paper as opposed to trying to edit those templates.